the diffraction pattern of a laser going through a CD. So this is the center point. And then both of these points are the diffracted rays of light. It shows us. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Yep. Okay, so now I'm going to draw a diagram to show what is actually happening. So we have our laser here. We have our CD in the middle. The CD serves as, as an obstacle for the light. And on the end, we have the board. Now, the laser emits a light, just one source of light, one ray, which comes into the CD. Once it hits this obstacle, the CD, so the CD makes the light diffract into three different points. And that is what you saw on the board. So the reason that you see those two different beams of the light is because the disk's uh, surface is jagged uh, due to the way that information is stored on a compact disk or DVD. So it looks kind of like this end when uh, a beam of light shines through it. It um, refracts at different angles, resulting in multiple beams of light. So as we can see here, when you hold up a CD or a DVD, you can see that light bounces off of the CD in different colors. You can see it even more on this disc that has a sticker on the back. But it's still noticeable and visible even on one that has the sticker removed. What we observed with the CD and the color, that's called diffraction grating. And basically the CD acts as a reflective surface for incoming white light. And the jagged surface on the CD causes the different colors to bounce off in different directions. And that's where you see the whole spectrum of color. So when we take a laser pointer and shine it on the disc and on the reflective surface, it reveals the jaggedness of the CD because you can see four or five different green rays that sep have separated from the original single one. So a Blu-ray disc, however, doesn't actually do this at all. Um, we assume this is either due to a different method of um, placing the information on the disc or to a, uh, a proprietary coating keeping the more fragile Blu-ray media from getting scratched. Um, so you can't even see any sort of uh, that reflection. Interestingly enough, you can't even see any of the uh, sort of rainbowy effect by looking at the Blu-ray disc itself. So the reason that the Blu-ray disc doesn't um, really reflect is, as we found out, um, because the disc has kind of um, ridges, yes, just like a CD does, but it's got this sort of lacquer coating over the top, which is to prevent it from getting scratched. So what we assume is that we mostly see um, light bouncing off of the lacquer coating rather than um, the more high intensity and focused laser beams of a, uh, a non-visible Blu-ray laser, or barely visible, um, due to the way that some of the uh, Blu-ray lasers are manufactured. But the more important part of the uh, uh, reading mechanism isn't in that visible blue light, but in uh, non-visible light.